In this particular lecture, let's go ahead and let's style the to-do list which we have up over here. So if you take a look at the to-do list, the to-do list actually has kind of two components in there. So if you go to the app, you have this main to-do and within the to-do you have a to-do list and the to-do list actually has the to-do list component and then the to-do item. That means you actually need to style them separately. So first of all, you have to set up a CSS module to style the to-do list and then you need to set up a module for styling the to-do item. So let's do this thing one by one. So first of all, I'll create a brand new CSS module and this is going to be for the to-do list. So I'll name this module as to-do list.module.css and once that module is created, let's directly straight away go ahead and attach it over here. So I would say import the style from from the to-do list module. So dot slash to-do list dot module dot CSS. All right. So now in order to style this thing up, this only has one single div and this div is nothing but it sort of like acts as a container for the to-do items which we have. So that means I simply have to have one class over here. So let's do that by saying class name equals styles dot and let's name this class as list. So I'll save this and now I'll create this class here. So I could say dot list. So first of all, to see if this works, what you could do is you could set a background color for this one as aqua. And if I go back, as you can see, if you find that the color over here is aqua, that means this is working. So we don't want aqua for the background. We want to have white. So let's set it to white. Let's set the border radius on this one to 8 pixels and we are going to give it a card look as well. So that means this also needs to have box shadow as well. So I'll set the box shadow on this one to the same which we are using throughout this particular app. So 0, 4 pixels, 6 pixels and then RGBA and let's set the values as 0, 0, 0 with a alpha value as 0 0.1. Alright, so now as you can see. Uh, this also has a shadow over here. Now after this, let's also set a width for this one as well. So let's not make it span the entire width which is available here. Instead, let's set the width to 500 pixels. So width is 500 pixels. And now it has half the width, but now in order to align it to the center, I would say the margin is going to be zero and auto. If I do that, now this will be aligned right at the center. But you'll be able to see that this still is not of the same width as this one. That's because this does not have any padding. So let's add a padding of 20 pixels from all the sides. So padding on all the sides is going to be 20 pixels. So now this looks a lot better. However, you'll be able to see that this is kind of stuck over here to the input field which we have. So in order to solve that, what you could do is you could go ahead and add a margin top for this one. So margin top is going to be, let's say 50 pixels. If I go back now, this looks a lot better. Now this particular container for the items is ready and you could add another item like lunch here. However, you'll be able to see that these two items are not separated out from each other. That means we also have to now go ahead and kind of have something over here which kind of distinguishes between these two. So that means now we have to start styling up the to-do item itself. So in order to style the to-do item, which is the to-do item component which we have up over here, we again need to go ahead and add a CSS module for this to-do item. So let's do that as well. So I'll create a new file and I would say to-do item dot module dot CSS. Now let's go ahead, close everything else and let's simply open the to do item. And over here, first of all, I'll import the styling. So I could say import styles from the to do item dot module dot CSS. And over here, as this particular to do item currently now only returns an H3, we are going to change that. And let's say instead of returning H3, let's say we want to return a div instead of the H3. 
And along with this, let's also say we want to wrap this entire div which contains the item into another div which is going to act like a container. So for that, I could go ahead, create another div here. So I'll create a div here, take this item from this div and paste it in there. So right now we have one main div and the other div enclosed inside of it. And now let's go ahead and let's start adding some styling to this one. So here, as this div is going to be like a container, what I would do is I would actually assign it a class name of, let's say, styles.item. And for this one, let's say, this is going to be the item name. So here I would say class name is going to be styles.item name. So we have not yet defined those classes. So let's go ahead and define them over here. So we'll define those two classes as item. And after that, another one is item name. All right. Now for the item which we have, which is the outermost container, we actually want to go ahead and set the width and the color for that one. So I would say that, okay, I want the width to be 500 pixels and I want the color of this thing to a little bit different than black. So I'll use a color, which is hash 353935. So this is what it looks like. So it's not visible as of now. So let's increase the font size of this one a little bit. So font size is going to be, let's say 20 pixels. And now as you can see, it looks much better. And also let's say I want to align this particular container to center. Therefore I'll set the margin to zero and auto. So the margin is going to be zero and auto. So now once we have styled this particular container, let's start styling the individual item by adding some properties to this item name class. So let's make the font a little bit bolder. So I would set the font weight to bold. As you can see, the font is now bolder. Let's also have some padding over here. So let's see the padding from all the sides is going to be 20 pixels. If I do that now, as you can see, it has enough padding from all the sides. Now there's one more thing which is remaining here and that is there's no separator between these two items which we have up over here. So in order to add a separator, you could add a horizontal line right up over here. So over here you could say right inside the div, I want an horizontal line here. And if I do that, now you have a horizontal line here, but its color is kind of a little bit different. So let's set the color of this horizontal line to a lighter shade and in order to set that, I could go ahead and also add a styling to this one as well. So I could say class name is going to be styles dot and let's name this class as line. And now let's define that class here by saying dot line. And for this line, I simply have to set the border. So I could say the border is going to be one pixel thick with a solid color and the color which I want to set is hash F4 F4 F4. So as you can see, now we have a much subtle line after that item. And if I add another item, like let's say, call a friend. And if I click on add, as you can see, that item is added up over here as well. So that means now we have successfully styled this input field as well as the to do items as well. Now in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's add a delete button here so that whenever we want to delete some of the to-do items from this given list, we could simply do that by clicking on a button which is going to appear over here. So let's add the delete button in the next lecture.